Welcome to another episode of DIY Explorer, and in this episode we are going to build a semi-transparent, non-permanent bird feeder for your window. Check it out. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. If you're watching this, congratulations. You're about to learn how to build a window bird feeder. Not any window bird feeder, but one that's transparent. And yes, it is for your cats. I call it kitty cat TV. Cats call it entertainment. So let's go to the shop, AKA the backyard and build something for our cats. This may be the last one. This may be the last cat thing. We do not know. All right, check it out. All right, the tools that you're gonna need for this build are simple ones you should have around your house. The first thing you're gonna need is a way to cut your wood. So I have my Bauer cordless circular saw. If you click up here, you're going to go to the review I did a few weeks ago. Hope you like that. You're going to need a cordless drill. You're gonna need a very sharp utility knife. This is the cutter plexiglass. You're going to need a measuring tape because we're going to measure everything. You're going to need a drill bit the same size as the dowel you bought. So I bought a 3 8 dowel. My drill bit is going to be a 3 8 drill bit. So if yours is bigger, you need to buy a, have a bigger drill bit. You're going to need a straight edge in order to actually cut the plexiglass straight. Trust me, you don't want to do that freehand. And finally, this is optional. This is my newest toy which is a angle clamp. You don't need these to, for this build, but we're gonna try these out for the very first time. All right, let's get going. All right, the supplies you're gonna need for this build. Plexiglass, 18 by 24. You're gonna need a seven inch wide by three quarter inch by about six foot plywood board. The type of wood is up to your determination. We're gonna need some dowels. We're gonna need a 3 8 inch dowel or larger. Width is going to be determined by the width of your windowsill. We're also gonna need 5 8 inch square dowels that we're gonna use uh, as well. We're gonna need two chair casters Link in the description below if you want to purchase the exact same thing we're using on this build. We're going to need tiny little hinges. Link in the description down below if you want to buy these as well. I, they come 12 in a pack, so just let you know you may have to use them for other projects. Other things to need is wood glue and then wood screws. These are from our previous projects. These are two and a quarter. And that is it. So we cut a groove that was a half inch deep on one side of the board and that's before we cut the pieces of our birdhouse out, mainly because it's easier to do in one big piece. And this is actually where our plexiglass is gonna fit into so we don't have to do any gluing.
As you can see, we've got our finished bird house. All we have to do now is paint it. You can use really any type of house paint. Uh, I'm just using what we have laying around here. Um, after that, then we'll install, add bird feed, and see if the birds arrive. So here you have it, finished bird feeder for your window that's non-permanent. I call it kitty cat TV because when you build something like this, you're gonna be amazed how long and how much time your cats spend in front of the window. Uh, total cost for this was under $50. Uh, the casters were about 15. Uh, the wood and all the other supplies was the rest of it. The nice thing is that if you did the alternate thing uh, option, we actually have springs in the back, or in the back here where you can actually lift it up and put the bird food in from inside so you don't have to go outside to fill it which is so freaking nice in the winter anyway i hope you liked the video i hope you built it if you did build it put a link in the comments below if you have suggestions ideas please do that subscribe and like away because we will make some more fun stuff for cats maybe or other things around the house. Thanks a lot for watching.